So how does one complete the square? Hi, my name is Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years now. And completing the square is actually one of the very, most and very important tools in solving quadratic equations. Now, it is used a lot in the college algebra type courses as well as those of pre-calculus algebra. So here's an introduction as to how this method works. Now, you have an equation, for example, of x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, the first thing that you want to be sure of when completing the square is make sure that the number in front of the x squared is just 1. If it's not 1, then it's a good idea to divide through, divide by that number in front. So for example, if that had been a 2, you want to divide everything by 2. It's always easier to work with a 1x squared than anything else. The other thing you want to be sure of is that you want to be sure that the constant term, this last number, negative 12, is moved over to the other side. So to move it over, you add 12. So what you have here is x squared minus 4x is equal to 12. Now notice here, we're leaving a gap in between because there's going to be something else that's put in there. Now to complete the square, here's the key step. Take the number next to the x, which in this case is negative 4, and take half of it. Now 1 half of negative 4 is negative 2. Now, that, pay attention to that number, too, because it's always going to come back later. Now, what you do with that number is you're going to square it. Negative 2 squared is 4. Now, what do you do with that 4? You're going to add that to both sides. Now, why both sides? Well, because this is this an equation, you want to keep the balance on both sides. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So as a result, you now have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 16. Now from here, you can factor the left-hand side. x squared breaks up to x and x. But folks, 1 half of negative 4 equals negative 2. That number is going to take the place of both parentheses, negative 2 and negative 2. It will always work out that way. Okay. Now, because the two of them have the same parentheses, you can rewrite it as x minus 2 squared equals to 16. And then, to solve, take the square root of both sides. Now what's going to happen after that is the left side is going to be x minus 2, but the square root of 16 is 4, but you definitely want to put a plus or minus sign because the square root method says you need to do that. After that, break it up as two separate equations. x minus 2 equals to 4 x minus 2 is equal to negative 4, and solve for x. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a demonstration as to how to complete the square.